Hello Planner friends! In this video I'm going to set up this guided journal for October. Um, in my recent video I did this goals page and now I'm going to break down these goals uh, for October because these are for October, November and December. And I'm going to use this guided journal for that. This is the Girl with Goals guided journal. And this is the section I'm going to use. And I am thinking of even like dating every page. So I'm kind of like, I have to use it. So we will see. I'm going to use this first section. So I'm going to take my um, dates and holidays sticker book and get a tab sticker for October. I can't believe it's almost October. <laughs> so that's it from that side. And then we're gonna go put it on the other side as well, obviously. All right. And then I think this book also has, uh, maybe not. <laughs> oh yeah, these ones. I'm gonna get October and put it over here. Oh, I'm not sure if it's gonna fit there. I think it might fit because let's let's see. Let's get this out of here. Can I put it a bit like slanted? That's fine. Okay. So, this month's big goals. Um, I have a lot of goals. Uh, this thing has like space for three different things. Um, I might just ignore that and put more. So these are my goals for the next three months. And I'm gonna pick, a, pick some of these, I'm guessing. Um, I'm gonna like put these YouTube, Instagram and Etsy into one category and put them in one box. So that's gonna be YouTube, Instagram and Etsy. And then maybe health, wellness and relationship and finances i might i think that might work okay so i might need some boxes for that um let me see if i can find some i am thinking of using these sticker books um, because this one has purple i ordered the girl with goals sticker book but it's gonna take a while to get there here because it's from joanne and I'm in the, I mean, I'm in Europe, so <laughs> you know how that is. It, uh, it takes a while to get here. Okay, this is almost empty, this book, by the way, so. Um, I don't think this one has any boxes at all. Yeah, well, there are these. All right, maybe some colorful boxes are gonna solve my problem. They usually do. Maybe let's go with black. These ones are good, okay. Let's see, this one needs three different ones. So I'm gonna have to Paste it somehow that it looks even. <laughs> and it's not gonna be easy. Yeah, kind of like this. I think that's fine. And then two for the other two boxes. So let's put one, two. And then this 
same thing for here. I mean, that's not perfect. I, mean, I might be able to get it a bit better. I have also no idea why I'm doing this on discs instead of pulling the page out. <laughs> I never do this. I never decorate on discs. I have no idea why I'm doing this right now, but okay, I think that worked. So let's put in the categories then. So we had YouTube, Instagram, and Etsy. And then I wanted to put health and wellness. And then relationship and finances. And finances. All right. So on this page, I already calculated uh, the monthly totals that I have to reach in order for me to reach my goal at the end of the year. So for YouTube, that would be plus 100 subscribers per month. So I'm just going to put exactly that. For Instagram, it's going to be... Uh, there are two, okay. Because I have two accounts. So that would be 86. And for the other one... 100 and then for Etsy would be 15 orders all right for health uh yoga three times a week and eat clean and wellness would be keep up skincare routine Okay, relationship would be one date night for October. And for finances, track expenses, use cash envelopes. All right, those are the goals. Now, this journal has a habit tracker. So I am thinking of, because it has four lines only, maybe put this one into one. Well, no, actually, I don't even have to track this. I'm guessing because, I mean, I don't have to track this per day. <laughs> so I'm not going to put that. I'm going to put yoga for sure. Okay, let's put that down. We had yoga and then skincare. I am also gonna put down. And then date night is one, one day or one night of the month, so it would be one square, uh, colored in, so that doesn't make any sense. Um. Track expenses, I could put that. Track expenses. And then maybe even like clean eating. All right, those are gonna be uh, based on my goals, the things I'm going to track. And then we have these three things that can help you achieve your goals and these three things that inspire you. And write down some positive things that we come from accomplishing your goals. I am going to wait on these um, once we're closer to the month. It's the 24th. Uh, once we're closer to October, I'm going to fill that out. Just like for a boost uh, before October starts. So I think I'm going to date these pages. Um, let me pull up my calendar. So October starts on a Friday, 
gifts. I think I'm gonna use this starting on the 27th. That might be a bit of a cheat because it's not three months then, it's a bit more. Um, but I think that's fine. So I think I'm gonna put the date on top. Let's see. Where is my book? There we go. Okay, so this should have dates. These are too big, I think. So I might have to go with these. Okay, let's take 27. I'm gonna put this in a European uh, kind of way because <laughs> that's just what I know. I'm gonna put a dot. I don't think I can put a dot because of the sticker. Well, it's fine. 27. So I'm gonna put it in an American, an American, in a European way because otherwise I would be confused by the dates. So I'm sorry. But I'm gonna put 27. I really need a dot. It's gonna be weird without a dot. Okay, 27. And then we're gonna put 9. Then I'm gonna put a dot. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put a dash. And then we're gonna put the third. 3rd of October, so 3, and then dot, dot, and then 10. And then dot. Okay, I think that's good. So I just marked down the week. Uh, that's good because I can start using this on Monday. Uh, perfect. So now let's go into breaking down the goals even further. This week's big goals. I might put pull this page out now. Otherwise, I'm just going to be annoyed. Okay. This week's big goals. Um, okay. <laughs> but I'm going to need the other page as well. So... YouTube, Instagram, and Etsy. I could divide the numbers by four. Is it gonna be four? One, two, three, four, five. I could divide the numbers by five and then put them down. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. So I would put down YouTube, Instagram, and Etsy on their own and the number for the week. That I have to reach. I know that it's gonna be three times yoga and maybe I'm gonna choose some days to eat clean on and then skincare routine and maybe the amount of days the one date night could happen in this week though and then finances. Okay that's Let's get into this. Um, I have these and I also wanted to use some of these weekly checklists. So let's see, weekly checklist. Um, yeah, this is good for yoga, I feel like. Put yoga and then I'm gonna put this other purple one for um, maybe skincare routine. Okay, I actually do want another one for. Uh, clean eating. Okay. 
Okay. And I think I'm gonna decide on the days. Well, maybe, maybe I'm not gonna decide now. But on Sunday, I am going to decide on which days I wanna do these. So I'm gonna probably like circle like some of the circles on this tracker and those are the ones that I want to check off and everything else that I check off is extra but it's not like something I would have to do for my goals if that makes sense okay so that's good and then maybe this I could use for the other ones I'm gonna call this social and then it's gonna be YouTube, Insta and Etsy. So if I divide 100 by 5 it's gonna be 20. Okay I'm gonna have to divide the other ones by calculator because those are not that easy. So this Divided by 5 is 17.2. So, 17.2. Uh, and for the other one, that would be 20. And then for Etsy, that would be 3. All right, so which one I which one didn't made it onto the page? The date night I could put on the page. Let's put I'm gonna put a dot. No. Let's put a check list or something. What about some of these? Kerika, <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's good for a date night. Get it, girl. That was very bad lettering. It's a weird angle for my for my hand. <laughs> I'm gonna take a check thingy and put it here all right so we have date night yoga clean eating skincare we have these so the last thing that is missing is finances track expenses and use cash envelopes okay so i'm gonna use two more of these It's not the same angle as the other one. And yes, stuff like that bothers me. <laughs> Let's put it like so. And then another one, maybe a gray one. Over here. Okay, so for the expenses, I think I'm gonna, because I wanna set up a new budget planner, but it's not gonna arrive in time. So I think I'm gonna get an app for that. Expenses app. Okay, and then cash envelopes. So I'm gonna have to withdraw some money. Withdraw money. Okay. And I'm gonna write, where is my pen? I'm gonna write, I need more of these checklists. These are not checklists, these ticks, I guess. I'm gonna put stuff. envelopes okay that's perfect there is this small space over there 
maybe like put another one of these I mean it's cute isn't it I think that's cute write a positive quote I really don't want to write one but I want to have a sticker <laughs> I mean you probably understand me <laughs> uh, let's see is there some quote in here that I could use maybe not maybe in the oh what about dream seeker well obviously these are not gonna be very goal-oriented quotes maybe in the good habit Oh, I hate when I have to search for quotes. Can they just put out a sticker book with quotes? Quotes? Because... I mean... This is not easy. Okay, let's get something new then. Reach for the stars. I mean, dream big, but doesn't fit the color scheme. I want something purple. Black is also fine, but these are not the, the right orientation. Um, really now? This is what's gonna... Okay, maybe let's put gold. I'm gonna put dream big. Okay, look, I have dream big. Important due dates. I am not even sure I have due dates. Well, I could put due dates, obviously. Let's put, let's see. Can I fit these cards? Oh, these are too big. Okay. Well, never mind. I'm just going to put the due date. Set. So Monday is going to be the due date for the expenses and to withdraw money. So I'm going to put those two. So 27, 27, and I'm going to put withdraw money. I'm going to put expenses app and with draw money. And then uh, I guess the same thing goes for um, st uh, stuffing the envelopes. And then by the end of the week, I should have had a date night so um have had date night okay those are the due dates and then the same thing with these uh these are the same as on this side. I am going to do that closer to the week. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead, put this back, and then I'm going to go through and date the pages. So I'm going to speed this part up because you don't have to watch that, obviously.
Okay, so my phone stopped recording, but uh, you didn't miss much. Um, I basically just went through and dated all the pages. So I have the whole month of October dated. And since one section only has four weeks, um, I took out a week of July that I didn't use because as you can tell I didn't use it throughout July so there are a couple of pages in this section left so I took out a week of that and then yeah so that's basically it I am going to take this section out of here and put it in my catch-all planner once I am going to do my um, October setup but for now it's gonna stay in here and that's it for this video basically I am going to use this every day to make sure that I am going after my goals um, and use the monthly habit tracker to keep track of everything so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I also have an Instagram account where I only post happy planner stuff. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to leave it in the description box below. And other than that, I hope you have an awesome day and that we see each other very soon. Until then, bye!